What's up everybody, today I am doing Botox on myself, but I'm not injecting it because I have good friend and Dr. Rick Strew here, my co-resident who's gonna be injecting me. I'm gonna show you how I mark myself, the places we inject. I'm gonna show you how easy and painless it really is. So let's get right into it. So we're all marked up. Let's have Dr. Rick Shue explain where he's gonna be injecting on me. So if you could see, got some wrinkles again, unfortunately. So where are we injecting? We have quite a few injection points. We're gonna start here in the gabella. We have one right in the middle to hit his procerus muscle. This makes the vertical line you can see in the gabella. Um, on some people, he doesn't really show right now. Because I do Botox. Because <laughs> his Botox is still there. Hey. Uh, and then we have two points, uh, injection sites laterally to this, about a centimeter above his eyebrows. Um, these are gonna hit the corrugators on both sides. So we have one here, one here. And those give you your 11 lines. Yep, and these are the vertical lines. And then we have five injection points along his forehead. This will hit the frontalis muscles. Here, 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 here. And then um, two injection sites on his lateral orbit to hit the orbicularis oris, um, right there and right there. And these will be the crow's feet and things you're going for kind of on the sides. All right, so let's get to it. Now that we have him drawn out, we'll go ahead and start injecting him. So I like to start in the middle and work our way outwards. If I start crying, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not hurting him. Some injectors will use these markings kind of as a guide, but once you're more experienced and stuff, you don't necessarily have to use them. Um, we're just doing it for educational purposes here. Didn't feel a thing. Am I dying? <laughs> no. In so about two weeks, you'll see the full effect of the Botox. Right now we're using Javot, so just a different neuromodulator. Two weeks, you'll see the full effect of it, so. Not a tear has been shed. Yet. It literally feels like a little, like, almost like a rubber band snap. Maximum pain. It's not bad at all. And with the front talus, you could have little blebs, which are normal, they'll go down like 20, 30 minutes. So don't freak out if you walk out looking like you have a bunch of bubbles in your face. All right, and that's it for front talus. And last but not least, we'll do the orbicularis. And these are for those wrinkles, crow's feet around the eyes. And we're actually gonna do three injection sites for him. You can do two um, if somebody has a smaller kind of crow's feet. But Chris needs three spots. And how many units are we doing each spot? So each one of these we're doing two units. Mm -hmm. Do I look pretty yet? Probably looked all, am I all bloody? I don't know. This might be the most vulnerable your uh, viewers have seen you. I know. You have a lot of tiny blood vessels right by the area of your eye. It's super thin, so it's not uncommon to get bruising around the eye. I expect Jace not to bruise me, but if he does, I won't hold it against him. All right, and that's it. So don't work out after. You don't really want to sweat. Don't lay down. I usually tell people four hours. They don't listen to me, so I expect them not to do it for three hours, which I'm still okay with. Don't massage there. You don't want to move the toxin around. You don't want to really drink much. You're going to have increased risk for bruising and bleeding. So those Botox parties with the mimosa, just be careful, you know. <laughs> but thank you, Jace. Yeah, you're for welcome. Anytime. Making me pretty. We'll see in two weeks if it actually looks good or if it looks terrible. So. We'll see how good he actually does. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. See you later.